Don't forget to listen till the end. Sometimes a genie pops up. Hi everyone, Bruce Wartz here. Thank you so much for this ongoing support. I can't say thank you enough. It's greatly appreciated. I see so much interest in the channel. It's overwhelming the comments. And tomorrow I'm long overdue to answer some comments. Guys and gals, thanks for stopping by. Guess what? We're going in <laughs> close to extreme close-ups along the Terminator's line edge. Of course, giving us so much elevation detail and de la verdure. Greenery. And when I say greenery, I mean greenery. A lot of green patches. Whatever they may be, we are seeing green patches. And that's all we'll call it. I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. More on the way.
Air Crisium, the Crisium Basin, 345 miles or I think about 556 kilometers. So to give you an idea of how close I am, well, that's the Crisium Basin. I mean, just on uh, NASA itself, the way they show it, it's very, very small, right? Well, they show it small. So to get an idea, you know, the whole frame here is about, the whole frame here is about 400 miles wide to give you an idea of how close we are on the surface. And I'm telling you, um, now that we're along the Terminator line, we usually don't see this much detail all around it. And that's always what I try to show you guys. And gals, there are colorful surfaces, no matter where we're looking at. And of course, top left, that beautiful purple that we see all the time, whether it be atmosphere or not, or refraction. You know, it's that we fight over these silly things. Oh, it's refraction, there's no green surface. And I've showed it many a times that it's not the lights reflecting off the surface that's making it green. We've seen it in China's photos, um, myself anyways, that it looks like some type of moss or at least greenery on the surface. I mean, there's, there's just no hiding it anymore. Thanks for watching everyone. Here is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>